Alrighty, you guys, so this is 5.4, dividing decimals as your standard, and then your objective is to be able to divide decimals with at least 80% accuracy given independent practice. So first thing we're going to do is model decimals again with our 100 grid. Um, so first, I personally, again, don't do it this way, but if it helps to visualize it, then you can do that. So remember the vision is basically repeated um, subtraction. So you're basically taking away every time the same amount. So that's what you're dividing, okay? Um, so you split it into basically groups in a way. So in this case, it's asking us to do one and a half divided by half. So I want to shade, so basically I'm going to shade one and a half in the whole grid. So basically I'm going to shade everything here, right? All that's going to be shade. I'm not going to do it because it will take me forever. And then I want to do half of it more. So this is a 10 by 10, so that means I have to go one, two, three, four, five. So I have to do five lines, okay? So then I have that. I imagine that's shaded. And then I'm going to separate the model into groups of um, half or 50 hundredths, right? So this I don't have, So, but I have a hundred here and then I have 50 more here. So in that case, I'm gonna separate by groups of 50 hundredths. So that's one group right here. One, two, three, four, five. That's another group right here. And that's another group right here. So in that case, when I divide that, that will give me um, three, okay? So I have three groups of half or 50 hundredths um, when, I, my, when I start with one and a half, okay? Now, uh, let me show you how to do it algebraically. So I'm going to take the same example and do it over here. So the first thing you have to remember is first one in the house, okay? So do not forget that because if you do, you're going to get, if you forget that, you're going to get the answer wrong. So first one in the house, you have to remember that, okay? So that's something that hopefully can help you to remember that the first number that you see in the division prong goes inside the house. So I'm going to take one and a half and I'm going to divide that by five um, tenths. I'm going to wait for when I get to this one to do this one. So just remember this right here, okay? So first one in the house. Um, so let me go ahead and start with this one. So divide by whole numbers. So again, remember, first one in the house, I'm gonna do 39 divided by eight, okay? And I'm gonna look, uh, A goes into three, none, none. So I'm gonna take the 39 and that will be four. And four times eight is 32. Again, I personally don't do it this way. I can share with you guys a video on how I do my division. I'm skipping some steps. So you can, um, um, so I do this mentally, okay? So that's 32, so then I have seven left. And so you might say, well, I have a remainder of seven. Nope, no anymore, we're not gonna do that anymore. No more remainders. Okay, we need to get into a decimal. So then what I do is I'm gonna add a decimal here because if I say something is $39, it's the same as $39 and zero cents. So your decimal on, in a whole number is always, always at the end, okay? To the right of it, right here. So then I am a decimal and I bring it up. After you bring it up, what you're going to do is you're going to add a zero here. And you bring this zero here and then you say how many times it's going to say and that will be eight times because that's 64. Okay, so remember time, knowing your time table, that's important. And I have six left. I add another zero, I bring it down, that's 60 times, so that will be seven because seven times eight is 56. And I have four left and then I have a zero, bring it down again, that gives me 40, so that will be five times and five times eight is 40, so then I'm done here. Okay, um, so that will be my answer four holes and then 875 thousands okay so that's for this one right here so now let me go ahead and do this one for you remember first one in the house so here you go first thing you want to do is when you have a decimal inside the house you need to bring it up right away otherwise you, you might forget it how many times does eight going to nine one time so that's minus eight you have one bring down the seven how many times is eight going to 17 two times because it's 16 uh, you have one left and then you bring down your five and then how many times does eight go into um 15 that will be one that's eight so then you have seven left and then you can add a zero bring it down okay and then how many times does eight go into 70 that will be eight times so that's 64. see this it takes a lot of time i'll play those spaces to be it this way and that would be six. I bring another zero, bring it down. That's 56. And then I'm left with the four. Add a zero because I have to bring that zero down. And that will be five. So this will be the answer for that right there. Okay. Let me go ahead and give you one to do. And then I'll come over here when we divide by decimals. Okay. Go ahead and do this one for me. Now let's move to the dividing by decimal. So this is basically three twenty-five hundreds divided by five tenths, okay? So just remember the division, um, the fraction bar is basically the division, okay? Um, so remember first one in the house, I'm gonna take my three twenty-five hundreds in the house and then I divide this by that. Now, 
importantísimo, so super important. You cannot have this, so I have to make it a whole number. So to get five tenths to a whole number, I have to multiply times ten to get it to five. Now I know that when I multiply by ten, I move my decimal basically one time to the right. So I'm not gonna even bother to multiply. I'm just gonna move my decimal one time to the right. But what I do to the outside, I must do to the inside. Otherwise, I'm turning the whole enchilada, and you don't want to do that, okay? Um, so what I do to the outside, I need to the inside. So I'm going to move decimal this way. And so I erase that and now I end up with this. Okay. So now what I'm going to do first, remember, bring up my decimal and then I take the 3. 5 is going to 3. So I'm going to go to the next one. So that's 32. So that's 6 times. So that's 30. I have 2. Bring down to 5. And that's 5. And I'm done. Okay. Oopsies. Now, if... If we had something like this, first one in the house, divide by this, I cannot have decimals outside the house, so I'm going to go 1, 2 to make a whole number, what I do to the outside, to the inside, 1, 2, so you end up basically with this. And so you go six times, you have two left over, and that's five times, so you have three left over. This is how I do the Mexico and social show a video on how you do that, okay? Um, and then how do I check for my answer if it's correct? You take your quotient, multiply times your uh, divisor. So when you do that, that's five times five, that's 25, create two over, that's 30 plus, so that's 32. Did I get that? Yep, I did. So my answer is correct. Let me give you one to do for this one. Okay, go ahead and do this one for me. Remember, math is magic, but you're amazingly brilliant. You got this, don't give up. Remember to multiply to learn your timetables if you haven't, because it was gonna slow you down. God bless you. Bye.